Hey, Sean, thanks for um, getting in touch with us on Twitter. Uh, we're here at lunchtime, which is a good time to get a hold of us. <laughs> Uh, in regards to your question about recording a, what was a live band, all right, um, the first thing that comes to my mind, I would say, is to make sure you have a good secondary audio recording device, um, a, a good mic, a good recorder that will last however long the duration of the show will last because you don't want to trust your camera audio it might get overloaded it might sound just terrible and you don't yeah. want that because I'm assuming that the video is going to want to be used by the band or at least the venue and you want to represent your clients really well whenever you're doing work for them it's going to be dark so you want to have some uh, a camera that does well in low light um, or a, a fast lens so yeah you want to make sure you can see everything going on that's a, a plus. Yeah. Um, you also want to have some sort of stabilization. So, if even you know tripods are good, but if you want that sort of handheld look, uh, still go with some sort of camera rig because you don't want a whole lot of shake going on. Yeah, you don't want that. If you're if you're renting equipment, I'm sure the place that you rent your equipment at will have um, options for you there. There's also a lot of um, just kind of DIY rigs that you can build that I've seen that are actually. Really good. Um, also, I think that uh, the audio is the audio is really important unless it's going to be like for a music video or something like that. And even then, you probably want to have at least kind of usable audio. A lot of people kind of just take a uh, you know an out an output from the soundboard, uh, which is good. But the problem is that um, they usually don't mic the drums very much, and if they do, they're not turned up a lot in the soundboard. And so you might get like the bass drum and then a lot of guitar and a lot of singing, and it might sound really weird. So you want to make sure that if you take some of that audio from the soundboard that you maybe get another recorder that's just recording like the area sound that you can, you know, um, adjust the recording level and stuff like that. How would you sync that stuff together? Thank you for asking, Michael. You'd use Pluralize. That's right. Pluralize. <laughs> if you're going to sync all your audio together, uh, you can, you know, I mean, you can start your cameras and everything before the show, before there's a whole lot of... Um, restart that because I'm about to burp. Syncing all that audio together, um, you can do that in a few different ways. You can either do it with a clap like that and just match up the big spike in the waveform. That's the same thing as doing like the clapper board. Um, or you can use a tool like Pluralize and uh, that will look at all the different waveforms and match them up for you together. What other, what other tips? Uh, I had a buddy who was doing this exact same thing. He was recording um, video for bands as part of a production team and I thought one thing that he did that was really cool is he would get some of just sort of his casual friends with DSLRs and have a few of them walking around in the crowd and just getting kind of like crowd shots and b-roll and that way to intersplice with what was being recorded with the band and I thought that helped with getting a lot of cool different camera angles and different shots. It's important to have multiple cameras because if you're going to be cutting in between stuff, I mean, when one camera's moving, you need another camera to cover up that movement because not all your footage is going to be usable for every single second. And it's nice to also have a wide shot, just kind of a backup, just something that'll keep recording the whole entire time. You know, it might not be the most exciting shot, but it'll cover you if anything else happens bad. So yep. it's a good backup plan. That's a good thing for any live event is to have a... Uh, a, a wide camera that will just cover you for if if you mess something up and you can't uh, can't figure out how to cover it just cut to that that wide camera that's always going always has a good shot and backup plans for audio would be good too because you can't really redo live stuff at all have contingencies it's good yeah so yeah Sean I hope that answers at least some of your questions or at least gives you an idea of a good starting point to go on and uh, good luck with your with your project I hope it goes well and let us know um, if you have any more questions get in touch with us on Twitter find us on Facebook and uh, thanks for asking bye Sean I love you